Hi everybody, this is Oswald with an update video about uh, Archer's Wood Workshop and uh, First Things collaboration with him as well. So since my last update video uh, last month, um, things have come along quite a long way. I'll start by talking about uh, the workspace itself. The workshop is fully decorated now, so it's painted and looking very sharp. And alongside this, uh, the electrics have been put in as well. So there's multiple rows of overhead lighting and uh, sockets have been put in all around the walls as well for the machinery to be uh, plugged into eventually. Um, so that was a very important step that's, that's been completed since the last update. Um, the most important thing to talk about is that in the last month we very kindly received a donation for the purchasing of materials for the new workbenches and uh, since then the materials have been purchased and most of the workbenches have been constructed as well. So I'll try and include some photos, some progress photos of what the workshop looks like and the new workbenches. Uh, alongside this, uh, quite a lot of the machinery from the old workshop has been moved into the new space as well. Uh, so it's really beginning to look a lot more like a, a fully functioning workshop now. Um, the other thing to talk about is uh, the mural that I've been working on has come along quite a long way. It should be finished in the, within the next one or two weeks, um, give or take because of drying time as well. Uh, I'll try and include some uh, progress shots of that and what it's looked like uh, for its various iterations as well. The next step with regards to this project is to address the uh, Archwell's needs with regards to machinery and equipment, if there's anything that's holding him back with regards to teaching and the uh, just the practice of running his business, if there's anything getting in the way. The thing that comes to mind is the fact that this is a ground floor uh, garage space that's been converted and there's one large door but there's no windows at all, so ventilation is, is a problem at the moment, especially as you can imagine with, with um, a space like this where there's cutting of wood and lots of dust and things like that. So I'll be talking to Archer with regards to uh, solutions for uh, ventilation and possible equipment that could be used as well. Um, so thanks everybody for listening. I'll uh, stay tuned for the update next month. Thanks.